Hey everybody, how's it going? Steve here. I'm excited to show this to you. We are in the very first moments of Returnal for the PlayStation 5. Uh, I have not played this at all yet. I wanted to share my very first gameplay impressions with you. So we are at the crash site. And uh, I, there's a cutscene that happens before this. I didn't want to spoil it for you, so I'm not including it here in this video. But let's take a look and explore. We've got to locate the White Shadow broadcast. So this is just the tutorial. L3 lets us sprint. She moves really fast. Abandoning Helios. Heading towards White Shadow broadcast. The frame rate seems to be a solid 60 frames per second here. I don't seem to have any weapons at my disposal yet, but one thing that's interesting is as I pull the L2 trigger on my dual sense, I do feel resistance. Xenotype civilization. Ancient walls, foundations, and statues. This is really cool looking so far. I don't know what a xenotype civilization is, but I'm I'm interested so far. I can also feel my footsteps or the rain hitting my suit. Uh, through the haptic feedback on the dual sense, which is really cool. <laughs> Scout log, Atropos. I have found a deceased oh, wow. Astro Scout here. Checking identification on a helmet. It's. <sighs> oh, that is messed up. We just found our own corpse, I believe. Oh, and we found a gun. All right, that solves my weapon problem. It's not really stealing if you're picking up your own weapon off your own body. Continuing towards the signal's origin. Ooh, why do I have a feeling something bad's going to happen to us here? Well, that's interesting. That opens the door. Okay, and we can free fire with just R2. So we don't have to look down the iron sights or whatever kind of sights these are. Scanning an undiscovered item. Oh, cool. So essentially a health pickup. What is this? A Xenotech gate secured with a lock back. So we need to find a key. Alright, well. Wow, man. This is really cool. Like the bioluminescent plants and stuff. They So far the environments look really, really good. We got our first enemies here. Oh! Oh, I've been noticed. Wonder if I can Oh nice, I can dodge with the boosters on my suit by pressing the circle. Dang man, this suit moves. Oh, I did not kill that thing yet. There we go. Hostile fauna dispatched. Let's see, we found another new item. Recorded log found. Adding to data bank. Playing back now. Scout log. Atropos. Elapsed time. Thirty minutes since last crash. Oh my gosh, it's my own voice. Whole areas of this are rearranging themselves like a fluid puzzle after each of my when whenever I return per Astro protocol I will not be recovered until I reach the broadcast signal if you're hearing this you are stuck here too that is dark I don't remember recording that So it seems that we are already aware of kind of the <laughs> lack of, for lack of a better term, the death loop that we're in. Um, 
So if you if you haven't guessed by now, this is kind of a roguelike game where things change for each run and you're definitely expected to die. Alright, we found our Atropian key, which means we should be able to get back to the door and see what's on the other side. Man, this game is just ridiculously pretty. And fluid, which, I mean, usually you got to pick one or the other, but no compromises here so far. Press circle to dash, hold for a longer dash. While dashing, you are invulnerable to hazards and most enemy attacks. That's awesome. So you're, you have an invincible dash, essentially. Oh, I wonder if I can dash in, in midair. I, okay, there's our answer. Yeah, I can. Here's a new item to discover. Oh, wow. Okay, max integrity upgrade. So I assume that... Oh, it looks like on the left, three of those will, will increase our actual uh, health. There's a statue over here. Nice, and we can just dash through that. Doesn't look like there's anything on this side, so we'll just dash back through. And that dash goes pretty far. Let's see, what does the overload do? Weapons on Atropos do not require ammunition, but they can overheat if fired continuously. After overheating your weapon, it slowly recharges itself, but you can speed this process up with overload. If you pull the trigger when the indicator is inside a marked zone, your weapon overloads and becomes instantly fully reloaded. Some items can give you additional buffs for successful overloads. Okay. Oh, I see, okay. Ooh, I've got enhanced vision now. I can see the door. A malignant key. Open secured gates, but it is infected with malignancy. It has a low malfunction probability. Oh, and I got a malfunction while in midair. Minus 50% weapon damage. Remove a malfunction by completing the task on the... Oh, I have to use a consumable. Well, how do I use a consumable? I don't think I have any consumables. However, it looks like we can equip different weapons and stuff as we find them. This is all really cool. I'm on a time limit. Uh, Sony sent over a review code for this. And uh, I don't... I want to show as much of the game as possible while remaining uh, within those limits. So we're going to keep moving here and hopefully I'll find a consumable pretty quickly to uh, test this out on. But what is this? Discovered piled corpses of a xenotype species. Likely the architects of these ruins. This could be the sentience that broadcasts the white shadow signal. Alright, so... We believe we found something pertaining to the white shadow signal. Here's another scout log. It is impossible to escape. I have tried everything. Can I'm we destroy these? Back by... There is a moment between death and rebirth when tentacles drag me down. Ooh, sounds screaming, terrifying. Drowning. Returning. That is definitely not a gap I can currently clear. I wonder if I... Yeah, this isn't too far of a drop. Okay. What is that? Oh! Oh, man! I've got to be fast to survive. Whoa. Oh my god. 
Welp. Oh my gosh, I'm not dead. Oh, there, man, man, that thing is fast. Oh my God. <laughs> well, that's our first life down. Um, oh, and here we, oh my gosh, this is uh, terrifying. Okay, so we're, we're replaying a bit of the intro. Oh, I saw a house. That is not something I've seen yet. Wow, and there's our title screen. So what we played was essentially the introduction so far. Man, I wonder who's going to be the first person to play through this without ever getting that title screen. Helios. And we are back on Helios. Astra, this is Selene. I survived it. Can you hear me? I'm in my ship. Suit status operational and... I haven't really experienced this before. Oh, she's got deja vu this time, a bit of a memory of what happened. And we can explore the inside of the ship. Oh, and we can see, okay, I eliminated seven hostiles, I collected 119 obelites. Uh, there's an unidentified item in the cargo bay we have to remove. Um... Oh, wait. I didn't necessarily want to exit just yet. I wonder if I can re-enter. Okay, so you can just go back in the ship if you want. Let's see if we can find what's in the cargo bay. Oh, we can even choose to rest, or... I didn't expect that to be a thing here. We can see someone in a more traditional astronaut outfit, it looks like, when we... Why do I think that that's going to play a larger role later on? Okay, so there's nothing more here. Okay, well... Doesn't seem like we can get into the cargo bay right now, so let's just head outside and do what we're here to do. Wow, everything's different. All right, we got enhanced overload. Oh, no. Jumping in water is not okay. All right. For now, I cannot survive in water. It's pretty good to know, actually. I just assumed I could. Uh, looks like there's a health pickup up there. I'm going to get that. <laughs> Offset the uh, damage I took just a moment ago. There we go. I have a feeling I'm definitely going to need a double jump to get through some of these places. I imagine at some point I'll get some suit upgrades or something to that effect that'll make traversal even even better than it already is, which is absolutely stellar. I love the uh, movement in this game. Oh, look at that! 
grants Defense alt fire mode to weapons. Press halfway down to focus aim. Oh, so that's why I feel resistance in the trigger. Press all the way down for alt fire. Oh, wow. This, uh... <laughs> that is cool. This will be useful. I like that. Okay. Keep missing the window on the overload. Man, I got myself hit. There we go. Man, the combat is so incredibly satisfying. We got a key? Oh, wow. Whatever that is, that alt fire mode takes some kind of ammunition I just don't have. Oh. I need some Xenotech to harvest that. There we go. I've repaired my damage. <clears throat> Let's see. There's something over here as well. Another undiscovered item. A worn calibrator. Gain some weapon proficiency. Okay. Small Silphium to recover some damage. Wonder how I cut through the roots of this thing. Again, I'm assuming I don't have what's required for that. That made a scary sound. Let's keep going. Oh, there's something over here. Probably another log. Well, I thought I saw something. The map seems to imply that there... Oh, here we go. An inert device, a Xenotech device, it requires something to activate it. So another thing that requires Xenotech. Here we have a rather... Oh! A weapon! I like that she subtly checks it to make sure it's compatible. Uh, you can see it on her wrist-mounted display. Xenotype weapon. Similar to our carbine technology. So now I've got one of the enemy's weapons. So we gain proficiency by basically killing with this thing. Wow, that is... ...beyond which is the white shadow signal. I can't cross the chasm. For now... I'll change objectives and investigate the energy reading in the forest. Okay, so Atropos. we have to go this way. Who triggered the broadcast? Do you see the white shadow is something only I should know? And now, out of literally nowhere, I'm hearing it again. Were the sentience involved? But how would they have known? This is so interesting I that... It's interesting to have the narrative delivered to you by your former dead self. I think that is a really cool way to handle the idea of death in a roguelike. Uh, oh no, can I not? I can't reload this thing. Oh wait, yes I can. I was just uh, getting excited and switching to alt fire mode by pulling the trigger down just a bit too hard. Man, this thing is a really powerful gun. I'm really enjoying using this. And it carries a lot more ammo than my sidearm. Oh. Another new undiscovered item. Obelite Siphon. Converts collected obelites into integrity. Duration 30 seconds. Device acquired. I think this will prove a useful tool. I can push L1 to use it. 
There we go. I've got a, another slot towards a max integrity upgrade, but it looks like you lose those when you die. So I'm still back at one. Oh, I found another one, though. What is this? Unknown suit signal. I've encountered our black box technology holograms. They're showing my last moments. Oh my gosh, it's her own oh, last one. Oh, I can avenge. We're avenging, baby. <gasps> this is the thing that killed me last time. This was not a good choice. Should have scavenged. Oh, should have scavenged. Oh, that that didn't go well. I'm definitely not ready to uh, fight enemies like that. So I wonder if I get to keep my weapon or not. Oh man, she uh, feels like this is traumatic every time we return. Nope, we are sidearm only again. They can't hear me. I'm alone. The environment, the environment appears changing. to have changed again. New enemies are appearing too. I I don't think I've ever seen that enemy. I mean, these guys here are fairly common at this point, but... Oh, definitely not making the mistake of going down there again. So it's similar. It's not completely different. There are recognizable elements of this uh, layout. Although, I see a doorway down there. Let's uh see if we can't find out what that's supposed to be about. Okay. What an interesting spot we're in. Oh, no! What is shooting me? A giant eyeball. Oh my gosh. Those are, <laughs> those things are terrifying. So they're just giant eyes that, if they catch you, they'll shoot lasers at you. What am I looking at here? I could definitely use some Silphium right about now. But it looks like... These guys... What is this? Oh, I need some Xenotech to get that. Alright. Well, looks like it's time to go back from whence I came. Alright. And... Oh, hey, a new item. At least we remember what items we've seen between these. A malignant key. Okay, so... I'm gonna malfunction, but why not? Lose obelites when suffering damage. I still don't know what obelites are for, so... Alright. Let's see, it looks like up higher I can get the health that I've so desperately been seeking. That looks like a bad time. Oh, oh, no, no! All right, so falling down a chasm doesn't kill you. <laughs> That's helpful. Although I'm not really in a position to... Oh my gosh, the health is down there. And that means I can't take it. All right, let's go back this way. Come 
kind of a bullet hell aspect to these enemies, which I really like. I mean, if you watched my review of Deedlet and Wonder Labyrinth, you know that incorporating bullet hell elements into other genres is something I really enjoy. It helps keep combat interesting. Although right now, one could argue that I don't need it to be interesting. I need it to uh, not kill me. Flagged for retrieval. How do I scavenge? I'm not allowed to scavenge. I can't avenge you right now. I'm sorry. We all know how that went last time. And I'm almost dead. What are you? the same gun but with a snub nose barrel all right fine not as cool as finding a xenotech rifle but all right we're finally getting the hang of the reloads kind of kind of as soon as I say that, I miss one. Apparently, all fire remains a thing, even if you die. There we go. Oh. Still, there's got to be an en enemy out here somewhere. Yep, there we go. There we go. Woo. Oh, my goodness. I did not expect that. Looks like these tentacles are uh, out to take us down. Grab some health if we can. Is it out of reach? Is it beneath? Yes, it is. Not again. Not today, Satan. All right. What is this? Oh, another Obolite siphon. Okay. Alright, using that did not do me any good, because there's no Ovalite to pick up. So let's move to the next area. Or hopefully we'll have a bit better luck. I have interacted with other versions of myself. But I worry one day I will experience these same interactions from their perspectives. But are they truly me? Or just hollowed corpses? So, there's the possibility that I'll run into myself still alive, it sounds like. Alright, I need some Xenotech to activate that. And my objective is now to find a way to operate that platform. Oh man, just one hit and your adrenaline resets all the way to zero, even if you are at level four. That is a brutal uh, loss there. Oh, 
Dang. Oh, no. All right. We are running low on time here, so as soon as I... If, if I end up dying again, we're going to have to call it, but... Man, this is... This is just so incredibly fun. I'm... I'm usually not a very big uh, roguelike person, but this, uh, the way they weave the roguelike elements into the story of this game are just incredible. We found kind of a, I guess a corpse. That's not what I expected to see. It looks like there's something down there. Let's, uh... We need tech for this, so we're still looking. It does look like there's something of import over here. Broken Calibrator. Oh, here we go. Here's something. What have we found? Of a Scan is indicating potential for suit augmentation. Oh, nice! So we can add this to our suit. <sighs> Appears safe to repurpose. <sighs> oh, that's interesting. So she integrates it directly into her suit this on the back there. Complete? Performing a function test to confirm. So what did this do? You can now use translocators to teleport. Alright, so we solved that, uh... Oh, wow. Now that is cool. Confirmed. Point-to-point -point teleportation. Location exit seems fixed. All right, folks, so we've unlocked teleportation. We've taken a quick look at the beginnings of Returnal, but I am running out of time here. Uh, again, I want to thank uh, PlayStation for sending this over for us to check out. We're going to have a lot more on Returnal here on GVG in the coming days, uh, so stay tuned for a full review as well as a bunch of other stuff uh, surrounding the game. But first impressions are positive. This It's a fast-paced, really cool-looking action game. Uh, I love the way they weave the roguelike elements into the narrative, and I love the fact that the story is told through the perspective of the person you're playing as throughout their many deaths. So it, it while it's difficult, it uh, doesn't feel punishingly so because of the fact that it's part of the story. You're supposed to die. So I'm really into it so far. I'll let you know what my final thoughts are as soon as we're able to publish a review. But again, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys next time.